Hello and welcome back to the Coders Legacy channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how we can keep our Takinger window on top of all the other windows in our application at all times. Sometimes when we create a custom pop-up or a new top-level window, it can go behind our main window. Or maybe even it initially pops up in front of it, but then eventually we, when we interact with the main window, then the top-level window goes behind the main window. And that can be pretty annoying. So in this video, we're going to discuss several methods, several techniques to keep our window on top and then maintain that state until we want it to. All right, so let's begin. I have some basic code over here and let me just run this. And this creates our window over here, the main window and a top level window. And you know what? I think I'm going to go and create a button as well. I'm going to link this button to a function. All right, create window. And over here, create window. All right, then I'm going to pack this button in. Then I'm just going to define a function. And I'm going to put the top level code inside this function. So that the new window is only going to pop up when I hit the button. All right, it's a lot more realistic that way. Okay, cool just showing up over there but yeah all right so now our goal is to keep the top level window above this above the main window at all times for example right now if i click on the main window see the top level window has gone behind it and sometimes even the top level window will not even show up in front of the main window this is commonly you know this commonly happens when you apply some kind of settings on the main window it can happen sometimes all right so let's begin. Okay, so the first, there are three methods that we're going to explore in today's video. The first method is going to involve root dot, wait, sorry, not root. We want to do it on the top level window, right? So top window dot wm underscore attributes. Then top most and true. Okay, then run this code. Now, let me hit create window. Oh, wait, slight typo. There is no dash. Okay, let me click on that. And oh my God, the dash was over there. All right, so now see the top level window is in front of the main window, but I'm gonna click on the main window now, see? And you can see that the main window is now selected because it's now highlighted and the top level window is grayed out but the top level window is still in front of the main window okay so we can see our code is now working if i click back on the top level window it becomes selected again and it becomes ungrayed and the top level window is now grayed okay the text the text becomes gray and these buttons all right see anyways that's the first method uh and you can also disable this. Like if you want to keep this on temporarily, then you can. Uh, then otherwise, you know, you can just turn it off after a while. Or a handy little trick that if for some reason your top level window is not appearing in front of the main window and you only want to bring it up uh, to, the, to the front, like initially, you don't want to maintain that state, you can just turn this to true first. It'll come to the front then immediately just turn it off. So then it'll remove that effect, but it's still gonna be in front of your main window. Get it? So it's useful. All right, so that's the first method. Uh, what's the second method? The second method is lift. Okay, now lift. Uh, all right, this is what I'm going, going to do. Uh, I think if I just do it like this, we won't be able to see its effect. This is what lift is, all right? You just call it like this. Let me run this code, then click over here. And uh, yeah, see that's the thing. Uh, lift, unlike uh, the topmost true thing, lift only temporarily brings it up. Okay, it's gonna, it's gonna bring it up, but uh, it's not gonna maintain it. Let me just change our code structure a little bit to show you this better, all right? And like this, over, Okay, now the top level window will spawn with our main window, 
Now I'm going to select the main window so the top level window is hidden by the main window. Okay, it's behind it. Now I have put the lift function. Okay, I've put the lift function inside this button. Okay, inside the function that this button is going to trigger. So when I click this button, this window should appear in the front. See, and that's exactly what happens. So again, you don't need to do that thing I told you where you enable it and then disable it. Uh, that can still be useful though. Um, you know, if you want to freeze the window for a period of time, then you can keep it on. Then after some operation is complete, then you can turn the topmost attribute to false. I've used that technique before. It's useful. But if you just want to instantaneously bring up the an, a window, any window, then you can use the lift method. Okay, that's the second method. Now, the third method is also interesting. Let me undo this code. And we'll do focus set right here. Whoops. Okay, so let me hit enter. And let's run our code. Now, over here, when I click on create window, here's the thing. Uh, wait, did that not work? Uh, wait, that's going to spawn new windows. Um, focus set. Weird. Okay, I think I mixed things up a bit. Let me just confirm something. I think that the focus set is very similar to lift. Focus, focus basically puts focus on a window. Uh, and, you know, there's a rule basically. Wait, this was open. Let me close that. And here's the new one. Let me explain this concept in a minute. Let me just double check something. All right. So this is kind of like lift. See, if I bring this window, okay, and then I click on this function, on this button, then this function will trigger focus set, and it brings focus to this window. In taking care, when we say focus, it basically means that this window is now under focus. It's highlighted. And any keyboard events that you, you know, maybe bind it to this window or any widget inside this window, then those are going to start working. Like, imagine that you connected the enter button, you binded the enter button to this window as well as this window, but you, whoops, uh, but which one gets triggered? Both functions are connected to the enter key, but which one gets triggered when you press the enter key? The one that is currently focused. Okay, so that's what focus set does. And uh, what I actually meant to show you guys was grab set. What grab set does is, let me show you. I'll bring this over here. Then I'll do create window. And wait, really? Come on. Ah, okay, it has. It, it's it's done it. Weird. Okay, that's weird. Huh. All right. Okay, anyway, so what grab set does Okay, see, now I have this window selected, right? The top level window is selected. And now there is literally no way for me to click on this. Oh, wait, I can. Okay, interesting. I'm learning something here for the new, for the first time. I can click on this. I can click on the bar over here, any of these, but I can't select any widgets inside this window. Okay, that's new. But, uh, okay, interesting. But, we can get the point here. Grab set basically grabs focus and it refuses to let go of that focus. It's not going to let go of the focus until one of two things happen. Either you destroy this window, okay, and then it's, it's going to let focus go, basically. It's going to release it. Otherwise, you can call this function grab release. One thing I'll point out, though, is that we shouldn't have really done grab set over here. You wouldn't want you would want the grab set to be activated the minute a top level window shows up, not after you click on a button or something. So more realistically, something like this. Let me just remove this button. Don't need that. Okay, here is the main window and here is our top level window. Now see, I can absolutely not interact with our main window. I mean, I can still move it around. Uh, clearly, but I cannot do anything else. I cannot even click on these buttons. See, that's because when you have focus on one window, then 
all the events for the other window get disabled. All mouse, all keyboard events, they all get disabled. Okay, so now we literally cannot do anything with this window except move it around, apparently. Okay, so this window is currently under focus. And wow, I can't, I can't even move it around. Okay, I can move it around. Yeah, cool. That, that, that makes sense. Anyways, so that's the basics of how to keep a uh, picking draw window on top of others. Hope you guys found this useful. Hope you guys found uh, the different methods, uh, you know, and one of them hopefully suits what you need it for. All right. If you want to see more interesting take into content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in a later video. Bye then.